Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, today we got a series, it's called a 1v1 to Grand Champ. Uh, I started in Diamond 2 about two weeks ago. I grinded up to Champ 1, uh, Div 1, and then the season reset. So I'm back at Champ 1, Div 1 after the 10 placement matches. And this series is going to be all about getting that 1v1 all the way up to Grand Champ. And, you know, I got champ in every playlist now which you know was the long-term goal of mine from you know a couple seasons back i always wanted to see champ in every playlist so this is a big deal to me uh my twos is pretty low compared to what it usually is and same with my threes They're usually both sitting at about champ two div three or div four uh close to gc usually but uh, it is the start of the season so it's understandable um, but we're going to be starting it off with some ones today. Uh, this is pre-recorded. As I tried to talk while um, while we were playing, and somehow my voice did not re get recorded at all. So we're going to have to look at that after this and check that out. But uh, our first match of the day, we got four MMR over this duct guy, and he is a season nine grand champ. So you know it's the start of the season. Uh, so you know could be better than. Shown. Right there, I got a bad kind of kickoff. Um, I got to the left of the ball, which you know didn't get much, much of a center hit for me. So it brought it all the way to my side. That's a bad challenge there. I really risky challenge. I went real late, um, but a good recovery for the demo. Um, so now I, I have a chance to freaking dribble this, and I'm struggling a lot, and I still make something out of it. Uh, Sometimes you just got to go with what you have, and I messed it up, but although I messed it up, you can always make something out of nothing. And although this guy should have had a pretty easy clear there, uh, the fake kind of worked out. So we're starting up 1-0, uh, 4-33 remaining on the clock. Uh, so you see my kickoff, you can see my kickoff strategy is literally just charge the ball. As this guy hits a great shot, I put it in, forces me to put it in really, I mean, Maybe blockable for better players, but players, uh, you know, at my rank, it's just, I could have acted sooner, maybe that's about it. I could have saw that it was coming. Uh, I should have been in a better position, but, yeah, so like I was saying, my kickoff is pretty much standard as heck. Uh, you just kind of run at the ball and front flip into it. Um, right there, I had a chance to do something, and I just kind of ran at him with the ball instead of giving myself a, giving myself an opportunity. Uh, right here, I'm giving him a lot of time, and he's going to take advantage of it, looks like. And yes, he does. So, right there, I gave him way too much time. I let him do whatever the heck he wanted. It was a really nice shot by him, but if you can see this, I mean, he's not going to make a decent shot when you get that much time, right? So, that, that was the mistake there. But like I said about my kickoff, I, I, I come straight at it, try to hit the center of the ball, because I'm so sick and tired of uh, messing up my kickoff, um, as in... They get free goals. And that was a really close shot, by the way. Uh, he really kind of had me there. If I would have jumped, it would have been fine, but I didn't jump. I didn't have vision of him. Uh, just another 50 right there that ended up demoing me after I won the 50, which is fine. As long as you win the 50, it's okay if they demo you. Um, great shot. Barely misses the opportunity there. Um, so I'm trying to keep vision of him. I see that he, if you can see in this replay, it's coming up. You can see he, he swerves all the way to the outside. Right when he does that, I, I know it's my time to go. So I push it forward as fast as I can and, you know, get that free goal. So, like I said, I, I come straight on, head on with this ball. As there's no real purpose uh, trying anything different uh, for me yet because I'm not losing kickoffs, like, to the point where they're, you know, they're getting three or four game on me. So, as of now, I'm just kind of trying to mutual them. Uh, right here he does some interesting things with me kind of i think he was hoping to bait me in but it didn't really work out for him i saw he's going boost saw he had no boost left as you can check uh the indicator of him just you know not not speeding up anymore he was slowing down if anything i just beat him to that and here i have an opportunity uh really rough flick i had him right where i wanted him but i uh, didn't get the flick fast enough i'm giving him a decent amount of space i did a fake challenge there which is probably the most important thing in ones is just knowing when to fake challenge and knowing when to you know, provide a real challenge to the ball. So I got a real good uh, goal there with the fake challenge. And 
Here we go. We're going 3-2, 240 left in the game. Uh, the old front flip right into the ball. Right here, I risk going boost, which you'll see a couple times I do because I'm so used to playing twos and threes that I feel like I can go for for boost and my teammates will have my back, but I just got to remember it's one. So you got to you gotta stay close to the ball at all times. You can't go for boost over ball. Uh, right here, just kind of a, a flick to nowhere for him. Not very useful. It doesn't make me, you know, over challenge or anything. Uh, here I go back to the same spot. I just took boost. Very bad play. I need to recognize where I took the boost, where boost won't be up a center. But right there, that was a really risky play to go all the way to his side for boost. Um, it is ones though, so you can just keep taking boost. So there's no, you're not stealing it from a teammate. So taking boost at all times is fine. Right, just got to make sure you don't do it in twos and threes. Just, you know, that'll be a quick way to trigger your teammates. Right there, I beat him to the ball. He was a little slow, and it'll cost him. Uh, he can't get back in time for that, as he just kind of got beat to the ball in the corner as he was taking a little bit too long to jump. Um, this guy ends up taking a little bit too long in corners, and you know, a little bit slower than the next next guy I play. Uh, right here, he has a decent chance to again, but he just takes so long. So he needs to get in front of that ball to get a 50 on my side. That's Getting 50s on your side, or on the opponent's side of the field is, is always a good thing. And that's just, one, it's a great air dribble by Duck. Two, it's it's an awful defensive play by me. You can see I, I try to drift, and I drift a little awkwardly, and I can't get up in time because of the awkward drift. Uh, that's that's all on my, my end, my fault, but uh, it was a great air dribble. You gotta give him that. A rough kickoff here. He has a stall and he has control. Um, I'm hoping he bails me out by doing something bad, and he did. As soon as he lost control of the ball and went over there with it, it was a bad play. But uh, right there, I, I gave him a chance to score, and, and he took it. So four, four minutes, four seconds left. Um, you know, one of the biggest things in this game is ones you got to make sure you're drifting. You're dri You're you're drifting to get back in place and ready for the next hit is is really just the strongest thing you can do in, in lower gameplay at least. Just a quick turn on the ball. Like right there, I mean, I didn't drift, but it was a quick turn on the ball. Right there, I had a really poor shot. If I was better and more uh, confident with my drifts, I could have had a free shot there. So right here, I try to go for a double touch, and it's like I didn't watch my own training. Because that's an easy double tap, and I messed it up by, uh, well, I was kind of thinking that he might have a hit, uh, touch, and I was kind of worried. So I need to go all in or all out on that and just commit or not commit, not do this half thing. Right there, I, I made a bad um, air dribble, and I tried to just stay in front of the ball. Here I'm doing the same thing, just trying to stay right in front of the ball, not giving him space. Right there, I gave him a little bit on the left, so he took advantage of it. Good enough. So that I bumped him and here I have a chance for a flick two seconds left one second left zero seconds left perfect chance and I drop it off the side of my car so you know that's that's just bad mechanical gameplay as I had a pretty good opportunity and I played it correctly but and there's that one kickoff every 10 games that I get for free with the old right on target kickoff I'm not sure what he did wrong I think I went a little bit delayed so I kind of messed him up uh, unfortunate gameplay for him. Uh, he could have had me a couple times, and I could have beat him by a little bit more a couple times. So, it, I mean, overall, it was a good game. Uh, this next game will be a little bit uh, more interesting, as I, I think he's a better player. Uh, you'll you'll see in the gameplay that. I mean, this guy had a few good air dribbles, but you know, nothing that I shouldn't have been able to stop. And that first shot right there uh, in the beginning, I should have been able to stop as well, where he just popped it over me, and I. I messed it up. So, but yeah, here we go. Uh, I guess it's 10:42, which I think is like uh, champ one div three, maybe. So he's a 10:42, and I'm a 10:12. So it's a pretty close, evenly game. But like I said, I usually don't get kickoff goals with this kickoff. But I mean, it never it never hurts me too much. And there we just got lucky twice in a row. Last game with a kickoff goal, and now this game to start with a kickoff goal. Uh, it's 1-0, 4.56 left, plenty of game left for this guy to come back, and I'm sure there'll be another kickoff goal for him. <clears throat> this is what usually happens. He usually gets control of the ball right in the beginning with my kickoffs. 
Uh, but right here I made up for it almost, and Crazy had a great recovery, got in front of the ball a little bit. Right there I kind of passed it to myself. Pretty poor, poor hit. Um, I mean, he really could have slow played that if he wanted. Um, but he just threw it off my backboard, and then I messed up my defensive play here, you can tell. So I tried to, I thought I had time to get boost drift and just smack it back. Obviously, that, that wasn't the case, and I missed my, with my, uh, save there. So that was, that was just all on me. Right here, I'm coming in. Kind of win that, win that, uh, kickoff. I'm waiting for it to bounce, see if I can dribble it, I think. So yeah, so get the dribble, front flip it, a little bit too far, um, powerful, but, you know, too far. My flicks are, have been a little off these two games so far. Right there, I messed up, gave a lot of space, um, but I make up for it with the save, so, uh, it wasn't too bad. Right here, I'm risking it, going for boost. Yet again, I make up another save, so it was okay. He didn't put it in a crazy spot, or I could have been in trouble. Another unfortunate touch from him. I tried to steal that boost from him. If I did steal that boost, I would have probably had a goal. Instead, I pass him the ball, and he gets a really soft touch. Messes up a lot on that touch. Um, so we're going to still be at 1-1 one to -one with 3 minutes 45 left. Uh, right there, I get the good bump. And I honestly could have bumped him again. Would have helped me out. I might have been able to turn it into a goal. But there's a kind of useless flick. Play it slow. No point in going too fast for that as he might get a 50. Just wait him out. And right here, you can see how the drift pays off. Um, drifting in once in every game mode is just really one of the mechanics that everybody should know how to do. As you can see, like, he wasn't ready for that whatsoever because he wasn't ready for me to instantly drift, turn around, and cut. Um, but, yeah, fast drifting is, is definitely a thing, and it definitely helps your gameplay a lot. So I would work on drifting. I know there's something like dribble, uh, dribble drifts. You can drift and dribble, and then you can do a backwards flick and stuff like that. Those are obviously uh, more freestyling and more um, more crazy as just regular flick, uh, as just regular drifts. But here I try to I try to do a little um, a dribble. Obviously, it didn't work out. I didn't really flick, and I didn't have perfect control of the ball by the end of it. And of course, I miss boost. So I try to come over here since he's on this side of the field. I feel like I have time. I give him a lot of time here, which is a little risky, but it actually works out just fine. I just miss the uh, landing, just keep ball control instead. And then I kind of just do a weak flick right at him. I'm trying to keep it fast right here, because I know he has little to no boost. And I'm trying to just keep control, but he gets a nice touch there, forcing me to come back over here, which gives me a chance for the ceiling shot. Barely whip that corner. But it's okay because I get the next boost, come back up for another ceiling shot, and that one I sink in. So now it's three to one, two twenty left. It looks like it's my game right now. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Um, right here, I'm coming up to the ball, get a good fifty there on the kickoff, going boost, which is fine. This is all good right here. Let's see what happens now. Crazy kind of gets a good first touch. It keeps it right for him, and he gets a nice little touch there. But nothing, nothing. Nobody can not save you know it's not nothing crazy so now I'm trying to just play it a little bit slower see what he's got I do a really weak really weak uh, flick putting me in a rough spot here and I I make a lucky save I was able to read what he was doing and you know that's something that just comes with time and it shouldn't it shouldn't be possible because he could have made a play anywhere else luckily I was able to read what he was doing that time around I was positioned pretty poorly in the net um, Right here, I'm trying to shadow him at the end there. I, I got up a little close, and I realized it a little late, but he made a weak flick, so I was able to shadow uh, pretty well. Here, I'm just drifting around, kind of buying time. There's nothing really to be done here. And then I make a rookie mistake, and I don't see him over the over the ball. you got to keep your eyes. I, I skipped that replay on accident. I was probably just frustrated with myself. Uh, but you got to keep your eyes on him when you're right by the ball like that. If you're... I mean, you can easily just over oh, beat him on that 50 if I just watch when he's coming in and jump, you know. Um, there, I make a huge mistake yet again. I have a decent, decent defensive play. It's 3-2. to two. Could fit 4-2, to two, and I just missed the open net. There, um, I'm getting boost. I do a drift here, which isn't bad. I keep control of the ball. I try to do something fancy here, and I get it going, so that's good. 
it was it was a close game um, so far so we'll see what happens in the next 53 seconds uh, right there he gets a nice 50 I mean just whiffs the shot yet again so this guy's really struggling on offense um, and I would say I'm struggling on defense so I mean let's see what happens as he takes it to my corner I try to chase him down this isn't a great strategy but I get lucky that he isn't able to finish it was a difficult shot uh, here I only have 24 boost I'm trying to just keep the ball in front of me it's only 20 seconds left and I make a rookie mistake and I go for I go for boost in this corner for some reason uh, boost over ball is not a thing that you want to be doing in ones for sure I mean it hurts in every other playlist but ones is one playlist that you just you have no chance you messed up like that so I'm so used to playing twos and threes that I thought I could get away with it obviously that wasn't the case now it's four to three 21 seconds left is anyone ball game anyone's bowl game and he gets his kickoff bowl so now we're all tied up four to four 17 seconds left it, it really is anybody's bowl game at this point um here we go we got a kickoff um decent kickoff for me because i can get this boost safely and i can come back and i could have 50 that i chose not to and tries to you know go the long route here i'm just trying to get in front of the ball i don't really care what happens i mess up he has a free shot little weak but I got lucky there I get this boost and I actually have a play here for some reason I thought he was up and he wasn't so I could have caught that ball could have flicked uh, I didn't but here we go um, overtime he gets a decent touch there I'm trying to just pop it over him a little bit so I can go back and get my boost and he sends a power shot I'm like not worried whatsoever until I realize he's up it took a little second there I didn't think he would be up for that ball. I didn't see him take off if you watch that. And here I make a mistake of just challenging in the corner when there's no purpose yet. And he takes a nice flick there. Nothing I can't handle. I still have zero boost though, so it's getting dangerous. And now I'm just trying to collect all the pads possible. I get the 24 uh, triangle. And I get the block. He sends it all the way back. I was just fake challenging there. To make him send it all the way back so I can get some boost. And it worked out. Um, here he does a weak, weak hit. I get the touch. And I kind of just bop it to nowhere. So I messed up there. Uh, he gives me time to control this by just throwing it to my side. And I do the same thing right back for some unknown reason. And I just, really bad challenge. Um, I wasn't going to beat him to that. I already made a bad mistake on the offensive play. And then I make it double mistake. So I got kind of lucky he didn't score. Uh, he sends this one across. I know I'm not going to hit that out to him. Because it's just going to be a free goal for him. So I'm just kind of waiting this out right now. I have zero boost. I'm able to kind of flick it past him. Which will buy some time. And I thought that might be enough. But, you know, it, it wasn't enough. I, I really should have stayed just with the ball in 50. Right when I hit that hit, it was over. Uh, he got a good drift hit and a nice follow. Nothing like a little once toxicity coming in there. But he, uh, with the JK, I love you. So it's all good. Um, a good game by Crazy there. Uh, the series was just one and one. Um, didn't really make any progress in the ones grind to GC, but I actually did learn a lot because it's been a little bit since I've been grinding ones. So I learned a little bit from this session, and I will be playing some more and throw some more episodes out for you guys. Uh, but I hope you guys like this little format we're going to be doing, just playing a few games, talking about what's going on, what I'm doing wrong, what, what I could be doing better, what's important to learn, what's you know what's strong in ones at this rank uh, because I know there is a lot of champ one diamond uh, you know kind of ones players out there that hate ones and it's really not so bad it's a lot a lot of mind games and kind of fun things like that so we're going to be doing also a coaching review uh, series that's coming out so if you have any review uh, replays or anything that you want reviewed just let me know hit me up with some uh, videos we're going to be putting that series out here shortly so Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.